Hello and welcome. In this episode, we're diving with Floyd from a previous video. Him and his mate Sam. We're launching off Hahe Beach with a tractor and heading out to the Mercury Islands to see what we can run into. Beautiful weather we had today. I'm really excited to get into it, so let's do it. Even now, after years of diving, I still get extremely excited every time I'm heading out. But especially when I'm going off a boat. Yeah, cheers. This first spot we're jumping in at is Ohino Island just outside of the Mercury Bay. Absolutely filthy water, probably about one and a half meters vis. But there were boil ups happening everywhere. So me and Sam jumped in while Floyd took one for the team and manned the boat and kept an eye on us. It was really hard diving. There were a lot of fish but it was just so hard to tell when you're going to run into them and when you're going to get a shot because they'll just appear and disappear like that. Here I managed to make a shot, pretty solid shot, I thought this fish was close, hit it basically in the pectoral fin, unfortunately he managed to rip off. My condolences go out to this fish, I wish it a speedy recovery. <laughs> After chasing around those workups we head in shallower, onto the reef where the water was quite a lot clearer. I brought the pole spear today because I was expecting the bad visibility, and here we have a leather jacket. Tried to swim away from me, hide in the kelp, but managed to get a shaft into them. These fish are super underrated. They are honestly, pound for pound, one of the best eating fish you can get in New Zealand waters. Absolutely. I'm going to be doing another cooking segment at the end of this video, show my favourite way to actually prepare these fish, so stick around if you want to see that. Here we've got Floyd diving down. We found this ledge dropping away to quite deep water that was holding quite a few fish and crays. Here we had a leather jacket that wasn't too lucky. Swam into me as I was looking at a rock. Here I'm down again looking at some good potential terrain, but not seeing anything that captivates me. Looking up towards the rocks and towards the surface, the two leather jackets coming down, I look back, load my gun up, get ready, wait for the leather jacket to swim in, turn side on, and get a shot into them. Using a pole spear is such a fun and rewarding way to get your fish. Really gives you that next level of challenge. Spear fishing isn't easy, I'm not a master, but I do like challenging myself to try different things and learn a lot in the process. We decided to tuck in closer to this next spot, get out of that swell a bit and find some better visibility. Here we got some beautiful water. I do a lot of gear modifications. Pretty much every time I go out I look different. One of the recent things I've done is counter shading my fins. Do some research into that, it's quite interesting. The weather definitely put a show on for us this day. Blue skies, not a breath of wind, but there's still quite a lot of swell coming through. However, when you get down to the bottom, you hardly feel it. Blue Mau Mau always make for excellent company. While I didn't see anything down in these two dives worth shooting, I was very happy just to chill out with these guys. Super confident, friendly, happy fish. Real nice to see. There's a nice cray hanging out in a crack. Could have had a grab at him. I wasn't 100% sure that this one would actually be legal, so as opposed to risking it and fucking him up in the process, I just left him. I also thought about taking this Pororo for a bit of meat. However, I didn't end up pulling the trigger. There are a few of them around, always nice to see these fish, starting to become a bit of a regular on the channel, really interesting, quite an intelligent fish I feel. I started doing some deeper dives onto a weed line, seeing if that's where the fish were hanging out, however it was still relatively quiet. I had this leather jacket coming on me from behind, so I had to turn over and shoot past my fins into him. Unfortunately, aim slightly high and to the left so missed. However, it's not the end of the world, there's plenty of these guys around. Here I have another drop, make it right to the bottom, get down, dust up, try act disinterested like I'm doing something else and hoping they'll attract the attention of some fish. I look around and notice a sneaky leather jacket that has snuck up from behind and making its way up the weed line. I make an effort to turn around not too quickly, don't want to alert him and then manage to make my way up the reef where he's sitting on top of this rock. He starts coming in towards me, I wait for him to turn broadside and make a good solid shot on him. This day I was using my pulse spear as well as my short 50cm Rob Allen roller gun. This next dive was a bit of a fiasco. I took a long shot on a Pororo, hit him, however very high. I thought I'd stone the fish, but he had slipped off the spear, swimming around in circles before regaining his bearings and swimming off through this hole. I have a look through the hole, I don't see the Pororo, but there's a couple crays. One of them is a reasonable size. So I have a crack at it, try grab her. She doesn't have very far to go, so I managed to make 
a good solid grab, come around the back, secure the tail, and swim her up to the surface. However, when she opens up her tail, I see she has eggs in it. So, I can't keep this one, and I wouldn't keep it regardless of legality. So this one has to go back. Leather jackets aren't a hard fish to shoot, but I find them really fun to hunt. They're quite tolerant, and they can do pretty unpredictable things sometimes. This one, however, very predictable, and I managed to get a shot into it. With leather jackets, I have a certain way of preparing them. So what I'll do is I'll stab them in the brain, icky, kill them, then cut from the pectoral fin down to the belly and rip the head off. This just allows the filler and the flesh and you can throw the head back to be put back into the cycle that is the ocean. Now we're going to cook some smoked oh, leather jacket. Today, eh? Raw dog. I get like a post pan on. Perfect. Oh my god, it's so smooth. For this part, I had some help filming for my mate Cade. We went to high school together. He came up for the day. It was really nice to see him. To light the methylated spirits, I'm using a spray bottle of isopropyl alcohol and a lighter. After that, I'm putting the smoking box on top of it with manuka, wood chips at the bottom, and leather jackets at the top. Just ignore the fact they're like covered in wood chips. Let me get a money shot afterwards. Good to see you, bye. We decided they should probably go for a little bit longer, so we fired up the smoker again and chucked them on for a second round. It's like golden. How's that like? You just take a fucking bite out of it, eh? Yeah, it looks... Dude, it looks delicious. Thanks for watching. This video's sustainability message is don't take crayfish when they have eggs, also known as imberry. Leave them. Let them reproduce.